What's up guys? I didn't get a chance to do this video early today because of busy work, nor yesterday because I was very frustrated, but I've said in the past that um, it's for, for any NFL fan, football uh, fan, that it's too early after week three to make any rash decisions or rash predictions or whatever to jump off the side of a building. But if you're a fan like me of the Pittsburgh Steelers and saw that pathetic effort against the Bengals yesterday, I'm not saying I'm really panicking, but I'm concerned. I mean, Big Ben played terrible. He had two picks. Uh, we couldn't stop the pass. We couldn't keep Joe Burrow from cooking. Granted, we're without uh, T.J. Watt. We're without Alex Highsmith. Those are two starting outside linebackers, a sack artist, if you will. Uh, I, I don't... We may have been missing another piece in the secondary. I think another person got hurt off the defense. I don't think um, I started middle linebacker play, but wow. It's freaking wow. I mean, we made this name look like world beaters. It is not to knock, necessarily knock the Bengals themselves. I mean, they got great, young, damn good young talent. Joe Burrow is getting his swag back. And that Jamar Chase kid, no one's remembering the, the drop season he had in the preseason. Four touchdowns in three games. Crying out loud, had a 36 yard against us. But that's just the defensive side of all. Our offense is truly offensive. I mean, God damn. I know Ben is 39, and God bless him. He's trying hard, but he looks washed. He can't push the ball down the field consistently, uh, which allows defense to play up. Also, like, it allowed them to sit on, on, on different routes, on routes, which makes it easy to be picked off or at least have passes broken up. And we're not running the football because our def offensive line can't even block me, my 48-year-old ass. So it looks, it, it looks more the same shit like the end of last year. So unless Big Ben taps into the fountain of youth, unless offensive coordinator Matt Canada starts becoming more creative and allowing more no huddle, which seems to, to be more Big Ben's cup of tea, always has been, and unless our offensive line starts opening up holes and becoming less offensive, we're the worst team in our division. I never thought I hear myself say that with, with like Cincinnati and Cleveland involved in the past. Both those teams are talented, and we all know Baltimore's not going anywhere. So, again, it's too early to panic. I have faith in Mike Tomlin. I have faith in the system. Remember, the, the, stand, the standard is the standard. But when you have in a division like the AFC North with two teams, it sounds as like Cleveland and Baltimore, or Baltimore and Cleveland, I should say, and one on the rise of Cincinnati, bar an injury, and we're, it's hard enough to overcome those three. It's even harder when you're walking mass unit on defense and your quarterback can't even throw more than 20 yards down the field, and you got an offensive line that couldn't block me and my late father. So, it is what it is. I hope we don't have a losing season, or first losing season of Mike Thomas' tenure, but again, I'm not trying to panic, but it ain't looking good.